Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia and here we talk all things luxury and lifestyle and like I said before I'm done with spring shopping so this is a summer haul, okay? Uh, if you are interested in luxury fashion, in what I think are the coolest styles, the kind of must-have things for the summer, please keep watching. This is the video for you. I should also mention the whole reason I'm here doing a haul video and the whole reason I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks is because I was sick. Um, it was super bad. I was fighting for my life. I was ready to FedEx DHL Express some happiness to my door. So here we are, summer haul. Farfetch was also having a sale and I had a, um, like a promotion for reaching their next level of their loyalty program. So on this haul, I saved like, I think it was literally 800 and some dollars. So it was like, I had to buy it. The clothes were like, buy me baby, be smart. Don't be stupid. So All right, so first up, we actually have what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a two-piece coordinated all cotton, kind of cotton poplin set by Alex NYC. So I feel like these coordinate, these co cords, the cords, these coordinated sets hit the scene like two, three, four, five years ago. I don't know, time is um, a construct, but I feel like these coordinated sets have very much so been a staple in the warmer months in the world of fashion for quite some time now. Um, what I think is interesting about this season is that as things have kind of gotten more oversized and kind of flowy, chunky, um, so have the coordinated sets. So I am wearing a 100% oversized set. Oversized for sure by design, but also all they had left was a large. Uh, so I'm wearing a large. You can obviously see in the cutaways here that this is just an easy, breezy, very, very casual outfit. Um, and I'm not the most casual dresser, so like, of course I'm gonna wear this with fancy flats and not sneakers and maybe a baseball hat, but like a cool one. Um, this is something that I think everyone needs to have in their closet this summer. It's just easy. Like it really comes down to just, I feel like these coordinated sets take so much of the thought out of getting dressed. And plus, I feel like the warmer months are about accessorizing anyways, right? Like you can't do all of the layering and things that you can do in the colder months. So the summer months for me are about simple outfits that you make really impeccable by all of your accessories, so. All right, next up I have this gorgeous pair of orange high-waisted linen um, kind of booty shorts. And I think that these kind of drew my eye because of the color. I have been super into orange lately and the detailing on these shorts made them an absolute must buy. So if you can notice here, you see kind of darting going straight down the front. These have pockets, um, pretty substantial pockets actually. Like I feel like for shorts, it looks so small. I can definitely fit my phone, my keys, what have you. So if I'm having a smaller bag moment, these shorts will come in handy. Um, they are also from Farfetch and they're by a brand called the On Domain. Um, never heard of it. It's Italian, so I'm sure I said that wrong. Um, but I'm a huge fan. I gave these a try on already and they just couldn't be more comfortable. They couldn't be more flattering. Um, these come in multiple colors and I've seen this brand sold other places. So this is my first time buying it, but I know that it is readily available out there. And I think a pair of linen shorts is an absolute must have for the summer. I don't think I'll become a platform girl, but I feel like everyone is a platform girl these days. And if you are, shorts like this, high-waisted linen, easy breezy, these would look amazing with a heavy, chunky um, platform sandal. So if these obviously are colored linen, but the nice thing that I like about linen shorts in the summer is that if you get a neutral, um, you know, a black, a white, a beige, a gray, they're gonna carry your wardrobe for the summer. Um, you're gonna look put together no matter how you, again, style these up or style them down. And they're a workhorse. So. All right, so speaking of shorts, I have one more pair. And I admittedly wore these this weekend. So I can tell you for sure, you have to buy these. And these are a different sort of short. So we talked about kind of ultra casual cotton poplin. We talked about kind of up or down style linen shorts. And my third absolute must have, please buy a pair of these, are satin look shorts, okay? Um, mine are by a brand called Blanca Vita that I, again, had never heard of. Another Italian brand found on Farfetch. These are the perfect summer short, okay? Um, I could not recommend these enough. And these actually come in a whole bunch of colors. So like, obviously I'm gonna like it so nice on Bona Twice these because 
Your girl was giving every bit of like silly, sassy, fun ass girl this weekend, okay? It was giving, why do I look so good? Like, Lord, I'm also smart too, Lord. Like, you don't have to give me all these things. <laughs> So these satin look shorts, I cannot recommend enough, and I've seen these being done in a lot of different places. So before I saw this pair, I actually almost bought a pair at the Frankie shop. Um, very similar vibes, so high-waisted. Those ones didn't quite have um, as much kind of piping as these do. They didn't have any belt loops. They looked like they had a little bit more sheen, um, but I decided to go with this pair because these just feel so wearable to me. These feel like, because they're satin kind of look and not actual satin or sateen, I'm not worried that I'm gonna snag these in the middle of like a brunch moment, right? If I'm sitting outside on like a wicker chair or I'm in someone's backyard, just for like the way I like to like boogie and boogie and get down in the summer, I didn't want shorts that I had to be super precious with because like you're sitting, right? Like you're putting your butt and you're sitting down. Anyway, these shorts are perfect. Um, and I know what I've said about blazers in the past, but reason number two why I went with this pair is because I decided to get a little short set, okay? So your girl is giving, where are you going? Looking like a dime. Um, <laughs> I can't stop laughing this video. I like really am my biggest fan. Um, I saw this short set and just felt like, why not give it a try? To be honest, um, it's not that I had anything against blazers for the majority of my life. It's like quite the opposite. So like, all millennial women who existed in like the early aughts. I dressed like a sexy secretary in college all the time. So the concept of putting on a blazer and a mini skirt was like, that's an old thing. Why would I do that? Like I'm trying to get this promotion for my sleazy boss. It was just such a bad, such a bad look in college. I would like find them at Goodwill and they'd be children's size and they'd be mini. It just, I don't even want to talk about it. Then after college, I went into the workforce into corporate America, and I was forced to wear a suit all of the time in a first in my first several roles, um, and they were like black or blue or gray. It just it was not giving at all. It was turning the opposite of a look, and so I have just never wanted to put a blazer back on. So I decided to get outside of my comfort zone and give this blazer set a try. Obsessed. I literally look like I'm about to start a hedge fund and like close on a fifty million dollar property in the Hamptons. It's just like, it's giving dress for the job you want. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Not putting a blazer on for so long, I could not be more obsessed. And the good thing about this blazer is, if you can see down at the bottom, it's got like seams that are frayed and on the arms. And of course it's completely intentional. And it just felt to me online like I would get this and be able to dress it up or down a lot more easily. This can just be worn so many ways that I completely understand the blazer craze. And I felt like this finish would be lighter in the summer. So it's not a linen, but the material, it just to me feels super breathable. So it's black, it's a blazer, it's long sleeved and it's lined, but I promise this does not feel overly hot. All right, next up. So I've got a few more clothing pieces and then I'll switch to summer accessories, but I had to show this very cute, long sleeve cropped kind of tie waist blouse. Um, it is a lavender color. I really did say I was just wearing greens, lavenders, and oranges this season, and I have not disappointed myself. So, like, shout out to past Olivia because she knew, okay? <laughs> Your girl had, she had the foresight, she had the vision, okay? You gotta have vision. And I have it, and I had it. And this is all of what I want this summer. The brand here is called Toute et Coupe, um, and it is just, again, another brand that I've never heard of, something that I found on Farfetch. I think this one shipped from Hong Kong, which was cool. Um, and it's just a basic that's elevated. So you'll see in the cutaways, when you put this on, it really frames your upper half. Um, I have the longest torso to like ever torso in the world. Um, and this is a really nicely cropped crop. Um, so it hits in a place that I want it to without showing like all of the midriff in the world um, and giving major Gen Z vibes. I'm just kidding if you're Gen Z, but um, I really, really love this because it, again, it's kind of a drapier blouse, but because it's got long sleeves, it doesn't feel abundantly revealing to me. So I, again, I'm just the type of person where I like my outfits to feel balanced, but I also like to just not feel uncomfortable. Like I want to absolutely be sexy and sophisticated in all of the clothes that I put on. Um, so for me, a lot of times that means if I'm going to wear some really short shorts or an ultra mini skirt, 
I want to be a little bit more covered up up top because I'll just feel more comfortable that way. So this is kind of one of the best pieces I could recommend for this sort of a top. Something that is cropped but long sleeved and will give you that feeling of being really put together, really sophisticated looking, but also, you know, like sexy and flirty and fun. It's the summer and that's, for me, that's what summer dressing is all about. Um, when I think of being the most sophisticated that I ever am, it's in the fall and the winter. You know, it's like these beautiful, heavy, longer coats, it's gloves and tall boots. When I think of summer dressing, I just want to be like flirty and fun. I want my clothes to share who I am, but like the more fun side of me, the not so serious side of Olivia, which not a lot of people get to see. So my clothes represent that for me, and this sort of a top is just a perfect piece in a wardrobe. If you wanna, you know, show some <laughs> legs and hips and body, body. I really need a video editor. Like someone needs to tell me, take that out. They didn't come to see this, but like, again, this is my channel. All right, so next up, is something I stand behind a hundred million percent. I don't know if I've said this on the channel yet, but I'm obsessed with bodysuits, okay? Like really, any, any article of clothing that just creates ease in getting dressed, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I feel like I have so many things in my closet that, not so many, but too many. I have too many things in my closet that I like can't get in or out of. You know, there's like a million buttons up the back or a really long zipper. And I'm not going there to struggle. I'm not waking up to choose a struggle. Okay, we want the easy life. This is Self Life Living 101 over here. And Self Life Living 101 incorporates a lot of bodysuits in the summer, okay? Um, they are just so easy. You can dress them up, dress them down, style them 150 million ways, and you feel good in them, right? Like there's nothing worse than being like sticky and your hair has gone to hell and like it's just, you're living in a swamp land wearing something that is just not right for the summer. Bodysuits won't ever do that. Stick, stick to bodysuits, okay? So this one in particular is a Skims uh, Fits Everybody bodysuit, just a scoop neck in a copper color. Um, if you haven't tried Skims, just look at this. It's ridiculous. Like, what? The stretch is insane. The feeling is so soft. It's like that Rihanna, like, Prada. It's like, Prada. It's literally so nice. I need to stop talking like a meme. I'm too old for this, I don't know why I act this way. Uh, I can't recommend this more, but the cut of this one, I'm not obsessed with. So I think this will look beautiful as a layering piece, like under a blazer, under a long duster, uh, things like that I think will complement this tremendously well. But this one is much more of a my style cut. So this is a square neck bodysuit. Again, it's the fits everybody line, so that same amount of stretch is here. Um, and this one is in the color sand. So the first one was copper. This one is sand, and I cannot say better things about this. Um, it doesn't hold you in at all, so these are not the sort of shapewear options of bodysuits that Skims has, but these are super light, incredibly breathable. They feel like you're wearing nothing. Um, and you know what? If you haven't tried Skims, but you've tried Lululemon, these feel really close to the Align um, line that they have at Lululemon. So if you like the feel of a line at Lululemon, please try these. Aloe Yoga also has a line really close to the feel of both of these that I'm talking about. Um, so hopefully someone can leave in the comments below what it is. I'm totally blanking on it, but I could not say better things about these. You just, again, you literally feel like you're wearing nothing. I am my most comfortable at home in my skin's pajamas with my hair in a bun. Um, like, wishing I was luxuriating in Mykonos, like trying to plot on how to retire in the next five years and like not work, um, you know, like a horse for the next thousand. Anyway, love skims, but really love bodysuits for the summer. So whatever bodysuits you can find, please do. Consider lots of different cuts, lots of different colors. And just remember, you can wear a bodysuit with a short set, with skirts, with jeans. You can dress it 150 ways. I feel like this whole video is me saying you can dress things up and down. Um, which might be weird, but it really is how I build my closet. So again, the way I build my closet is if I can't wear it at least three times, I probably don't need it. Um, and really, I want to be able to wear something like like 50 different ways, okay? That is the goal every time, as many different ways to style things because I want to get my cost for wear. And while I certainly have, you know, very, very nice high-end pieces that I can only wear, you know, maybe once or twice a year, they're worth it to me. So it's really mostly a balance, but I do love things that can go up and down. And on that note, I'll show my last bodysuit. 
Um, this is another Skims. This is a mock turtleneck. And I actually own this in a couple different colors because this is beautiful. Um, this one is not that same fits everybody line. So you can see the stretch is totally different, right? Like this has give, um, but it holds you in. So you look like, you look like the one, okay? You look like the one in this bodysuit. Um, I tend to wear mine in like a full monochromatic look and it just, it's seamless from head to toe. The lines look beautiful. My figure looks phenomenal. Um, I can't recognize, recognize, I can't recommend, you gotta recognize. I can't recommend these more. Really, really am a big fan specifically of Skims, but also just keep in mind for the summer, body suits that are gonna allow for you to breathe, that are going to be able to be paired with a hundred different things and that are gonna give you excellent cost per wear, make you look good and feel good and just, you know, really, give you a chance to do some things different than you do in the colder months. All right, so on to accessories. I've got three things here, and one thing I can say for sure is that I am going a little bit sunglasses crazy this year, okay? I think I've already bought four or five pairs, and I don't see the end in sight anytime soon, but I will show you the two I picked up in my Farfetch haul, the first being a pair of Saint Laurent's. Um, I have never, yeah, I think I've never owned Sailor Rock sunglasses, and I was very excited to see these. Um, if you see here on the side is the little YSL logo right in the front, and I just thought these couldn't be cuter. Um, they are rimless, they are square, so super different than really the styles that I normally go for. They are polarized in the nicest way. Um, I don't know if this means anything to anyone, but have you ever had a headache, not been in the sun, just had a headache on, and put sunglasses on, and it helps? because these are that kind of sunglasses. I have no idea if that means anything, but if you're a girl who's here for the holistic at-home remedies, I don't know, get some polarized YSL sunglasses and live your best life. Um, couldn't say enough about these. What, again, I love is the shape. Um, and I think excitingly shaped sunglasses are the moment. You've seen, I feel like it's really Loewe leading the pack here with the wildly cool, um, the kind of, they feel like fishbowls to me. Uh, the sunglasses where the sides kind of go out and the frames sit a little bit in. I think those are super cool and interestingly shaped. And then also the Loewe version of just rimless sunglasses and they have the great um, anagram on the side. I love those glasses, but I wanted to find a way to do it in a way that felt really, really just like it spoke to who I am. Uh, so landed on these and I couldn't be happier. I think they are gorgeous. They're super simple on the sides. Of course, these are an all black pair. And again, the polarization on these is just really nice. Like it just, these are nice. I don't know how to explain it super well, but they make you feel like you're not bothered by the sun at all. Right, next up is a pair of Versace sunglasses. So I might've mentioned this before, but I have never been a Versace girl. Like Versace, 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 whatever you want to call it, I was never interested until this year. And so I saw these glasses and felt like they would just perfectly match some of the Versace items I've already got. So they have these gorgeous Medusas on the side um, and the little Swarovski crystals around them. So they kind of called out to me. I wasn't sure if I would love them once they got here, but I think the shape is just too interesting to leave behind. So I'm gonna put them on so you can see. Um, I think that these need to be worn a little bit more like on the nose bridge, down a bit with hair up, not like this, um, all black styling. I also kind of couldn't stay away from these because I think they made them for the Fendace line um, and they had kind of the um, Versace safety pin and then the Medusa head with like some Fs in there. They were stunning and beautiful, but they were nearly like double, triple the price of these. I think triple in fact, since I got such a bargain on the overall haul. Um, so saw these, had to give them a try and they are here to stay. Not an everyday pair, but something that I'm really excited about. And I just think these Medusa heads are worth getting some airtime. You know, welcome to Livy 4.0 this summer. And last but not least, something I cannot stay away from lately, I got a baseball hat. And this is like cool girl Olivia. So it is a Palm Angels baseball hat. Um, I fell in love with my YSL hat and now designer hats are my new staple. Um, and this Palm Angels one is no different. I think it's gorgeous. Of course, this perfect Kelly green, Bottega green that I cannot stay away from. 
and it just felt like a fun piece and a nice thing to be able to throw on with the easier outfits. So get some amazing sunglasses, find some hats, baseball hats, fedoras, um, things like palm angels or things like lack of color, you know, whatever feels right for you this season. I think you have to have some sort of headwear, maybe even headbands, like go crazy, you know, make it your own. Um, but for me, these are the most absolute must have amazing pieces of the season. And who knows, maybe I'll keep shopping and there'll be another haul video. So as usual, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're not done watching, I'll leave two more videos here and I'll see you next week.